What's going on you guys, GT Charlie back at it again. This time we're gonna be working on a 2007 Honda Accord. This is my old car from back in the day with a beautiful carbon fiber spoiler here, wrapped of course. So anyways, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install this trunk spring right here. Some people are calling it like a trunk torsion bar or whatever. So this is the uh, part number right here. All right, this is the hard part, right? But there's like a square section and then there's like this loopy section. So if you're doing the one that I'm doing, the square section is gonna be on the driver's side and then the loopy section is gonna be on the passenger side, okay? So that's gonna be that um, number right here. I'm not sure if it's called left or right, uh, but I know that we're gonna, we can check that out later on on Google. Previously, our original one broke like that because somebody threw something into the trunk. So we're gonna toss this. Um, our clip also broke, but um, this is actually pretty easy to replace. This one right here is um, this item number right here. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys this one right here. So if you're doing my uh, bar that I'm showing you guys with the square side on the um, driver's side, you're gonna be putting it on the top. So if you're doing this one right, then there's like this kind of gray bar right here. So the gray bar is actually going to be towards the engine, like, like so. And then the plus side is gonna be towards the back of the car. You're gonna try to put it in right there. So this is how it's supposed to end up looking like. So you put the, um, you put it inside this hole first, um, the, uh, this part right here. And then once you put it in there, you're gonna just twist it like that and this clip should pop right in, okay? Um, don't forget to leave this open because you're gonna have to shut it down later on, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna do is, um, I want you guys to kind of study this. We already have the other side set up and you'll see that the loopy side goes from the top of this uh, metal piece here. So it goes from the top into this little hole and then it loops around and then goes into this hole. So the other side has to be the same way. The other side has to be the same way in this hole. Um, and how does it end? You're gonna see like, there's like a lot of tension here. You're gonna see it go through this hole right here. And then that tension right here, we're gonna try to put that uh, square side, the end of the square side over this loop. So we're gonna try it now. This side is gonna go into a small loop and then into this hole here. And then this side, we're gonna want to go like this and then have the tension go right there. Okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pulling really hard this way. So try to be prepared for that. Do you need the tool? Not necessarily. A lot of people are doing it with uh, vice grips and stuff. So you just want to find the right tool to do it. So we're gonna try it out right now. Let's do it. All right. So if you guys are watching, we put the uh, bar in this area here. We put it inside and stuck it into this hole. Okay, now we're gonna reach to the other side. And you're gonna see that, yeah, see like, this right here has a lot of tension, so we need to put this bar into that hole. So from here to here. And then this side has to connect here. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. I can't push it in, boy. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. All right, you guys, we got it. So I was able to hold this at the end of my vice grips right here, right there, and then just force it over. And then once this piece was all the way back here, my dad was able to push on this side and then push it towards that hole. And there you go, you guys, and now, we have to put these into the uh, holes. I think I just, um, I think I messed up this one right here. So I think I'm just gonna have to replace where the bars go. I'm not sure if that'll make a difference, but I'm gonna try to put the original one at the top and then this new one at the bottom. So I'm, I, that might have to be, or else I'll just take it out and do it again. All right guys, so we're gonna try to open up the trunk now and see if it holds up. So I did replace the rods so that it's on the other side. And uh, here we go, we leave it up and it's good now. Super good. So you can see, um, uh, I put the uh, original one at the top, but I think I'm gonna have to replace them 
or something. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be there or not. But anyways, at the end, you just clip this right here, and then you're good to go. So if I were to do this again, you guys, um, I'd probably try to put that black bar up at the top. So I'd try to feed it that way, and then put those ends in after. So I'd really start with this first. I'm not sure if it does make a big difference, but I mean, the stuff still works, so the trunk is holding up. Hey guys, so before I let you go, I do wanna talk about the two topics that came up the most when I was researching this project. Um, the first thing was, do I need a special tool to do this? And the second is, do I need somebody's help? Well, as you can see in the video, I just used a vice grip. You can also use pliers. All you needed was the right pressure in the right places, and you'll be able to do it easily. The next question is, do I need somebody's help? Well, obviously, as you can see in the video, I got 90% there, but that last 10% did really help out with my father being there to push the bar back into its spot. I was compelled by seeing so many people online saying that they had a really hard time doing it, like a really hard time doing it. I feel like the average person who doesn't work out might have a really hard time doing it, but I mean, you know, if you're in shape, I think you're able to do it on your own for sure. It does really help having that last person there because I feel like on my own maybe I would be struggling for another minute or two just to get that rod in the spot on my own but having somebody there at the right angle to push it in I mean that saves you so much time like that's just a couple seconds to fix it versus a couple minutes definitely having somebody there is a plus but I don't really think that you need somebody there to actually complete the project last but not least thank you so much to my dad for you know taking care of me after all these years and he still takes care of me, that's so crazy. So, look at that, he gave me a, a little Dory Band-Aid. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, if you guys have any comments, please leave it below. If you have any questions, do the same. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know how it is. GT Charlie out, man. And Dory too. Dory, peace!